Hello peoples, I hope you've had an awesome week. <laughs> I think I might be one day late today. I think this is day eight instead of day seven, but oh well. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind on content at the moment, but I'm catching up. Anyway, welcome back to Mental Diet Mastery and I'm Kylie. And today's video is going to be about forgiving yourself for past creations whether they were unwanted creations and you don't know how you created them or whether it's something you just happened unconsciously in the past you know for your entire life <laughs> like for myself would be like 47 years worth of creation that i didn't know about until i came across manifesting um the thing is when people first learn about the law and they realize oh my god I'm the cause of my entire life and I did that and I created that and I created that and it's a little bit sometimes a bit of pill to swallow um, of course there's no blame here at all because we, we it just happened unconsciously and it is definitely not something that um, if you had you know bad things happen to you which you know a lot of us have had it's not your fault in any way, shape or form. And you did not create um, this thing happening to you with this thought of, I want something bad to happen to me. It doesn't work that way. Um, we all hold these general assumptions about the world and everyone in it. We have general assumptions that there are good people, there are bad people, random events happen, sickness happens, all of these things we just have general assumptions about. It's not like you had this direct thought that caused whatever it was that happened to you. Um, we also have general assumptions, well, not everyone, <laughs> but um, I know that I, you know, um, went through a period of time where I felt quite worthless and unlovable and, um, and that causes uh, not a very nice reality because if you don't if, if you don't feel like you're um, worthy or deserving of a really good life then your life is going to reflect that back at you um, in a not probably such a nice way and that's what by consciously um, manifesting we're trying to change that <laughs> so now we can consciously change our life so that we can only deserve and get the best things. Did that come out right? <laughs> All right, uh, quick, just before I get into the actual tapping, I just wanna quickly say that I am now coaching. However, it's only gonna be open probably for the next uh, 30 days and then I am actually moving again. Um, so it will probably be on pause just for a little bit until I go into my next place. But um, you can always just check the stand store uh, to see whether it's open or not. Um, I will not be closing the custom audios or the custom EFTs. They will still be available because I can do them um, anywhere. Uh, just a quick note about the custom EFTs. Um, they seem to be a very popular choice, which is awesome because I love doing them. Um, I actually have every single one that I've done, I have included coaching first before the tapping video. Um, so I've actually um, added into the description that it comes with coaching and an EFT video and it also comes with the script that I write out for you so that you can um, you know, go along with the script um, as well as go along with the video. Okay, uh, without further ado, <laughs> let's get into today's tapping, which is about past creations and forgiving yourself because you didn't know any better. Uh, most of the time these things are, have, are happening on autopilot unconsciously and we have no idea um, until we come into conscious creation. We, we kind of don't really realize the assumptions we've been holding on to for many, many years um, until something happens to show us because our 3D gives us feedback of what we're actually thinking and assuming every day. All right, so starting on the karate chop point. Oh, sorry, um, one more thing. 
Uh, normally with my videos, we shift you from the version of you that's this into a, the version of you that thinks this or is this, right? But this video is a little bit different because I'm not shifting you from here to here. We're just releasing and letting go. So there's going to be a lot more um, of the negative rounds and tapping because we're going to be doing a lot of releasing and letting go and forgiving. Um, and then there's only going to be a little bit of a positive round at the end. Um, it's just a different kind of video today. All right. <laughs> Even though I accidentally or unconsciously created all these things that were unwanted in my past, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I sometimes beat myself up or I blame myself for my past creations. I deeply and completely love, accept myself and I forgive myself because I didn't know any better. Okay, we're gonna move up. Even though I have not enjoyed these things I've created accidentally or unconsciously, I'm choosing to let them go and love and accept myself. Some of these things have caused me great pain or hurt. Some of these things have even made me question the entire law, question whether I actually think it's real, question whether it's working. just makes me question everything. Don't forget to breathe. But that's all in the past now. And I'm choosing, as of this moment, to let it all go. That was then, this is now. I am a new version of myself. I am not the same person. I don't hold the same assumptions anymore. I am creating better things now. I accidentally created all these things in the past. That have been very much unwanted. Let's face it. Some of these things have come at a complete shock. I don't even know how I created 
that to happen? How was that even me? It doesn't make sense. I have no idea what assumption or belief I was holding on to in order for these things to manifest. But I do know for sure, I didn't like it. In fact, I keep beating myself up, berating myself over them. How did I create this? What was I thinking? How could this have come from me? I just don't get it. I don't get the correlation. But I do know that judging myself or beating myself up for this isn't going to get me anyway. In fact, all it's going to do is create the same thing again and again. Because every thought I am thinking accumulates in my energy field and then gets pushed out into my reality. Do I really want this pissed off and confused energy to continue pushing out into my reality and making things worse? Of course I don't. I need things to stop now. I need to choose this stops now. The buck stops with me. I need to forgive myself. It doesn't matter what I created in the past or even yesterday when I didn't know the law or maybe I did know the law but it just wasn't advanced enough to be fully in control of everything and you know what that's okay We all have to learn. And sometimes we create things that we don't want or don't like. The quickest way to turn things around again is to forgive myself and let all of this go. 
There's no point focusing on it any longer. Because I've learnt that whatever you focus on, you get more of. I don't want more of this. It's time right now to forgive myself and let all these past unwanted creations and circumstances go. Okay, take a deep breath and let it go. You have to excuse me, hang on. Wait, ready? Look, say hello. Sorry, the dog's come up. The dog came over to say hello. Say hello. <laughs> All right, we're back. I just had to pause to take care of the dog. <laughs> now we're going to do a round of releasing and letting go and forgiving ourselves. All right, starting here. I am choosing to let all of this go. I'm choosing to forgive myself right now for everything. I am allowing forgiveness. I deserve to forgive myself. I deserve to let this go. I deserve to feel better about this. I deserve to be free of this, of all of this. I'm choosing to let it go now. I'm choosing to let all of this go. I'm choosing to let the past go. All of these unwanted creations, I'm letting them go now. That was then, this is now. I'm choosing to forgive myself. I forgive myself because I'm worth it. Okay. Make sure you're breathing. All right, we're just gonna do a very quick positive round um, just to solidify this uh, video. <laughs> And make you feel a little bit lighter. Okay. I am choosing to only create wanted, positive, happy things from now on. I am choosing to be mindful of all of my assumptions that I'm holding on to. And I'm choosing to let go of any negative ones that aren't serving me. <sighs> if I keep a strict mental diet, and I keep looking within at what am I thinking several times a day? What am I thinking now? What am I thinking about this? You know, you see something in your reality and you ask yourself, what am I thinking really? What am I thinking about this situation? I'm going to catch myself before I create any accidental, unwanted situations again. I know I should only focus on the things that I want and I should never Focus on the things I don't want. <sighs> 
Focus on solutions, not the problems. Focus on everything working out for you, but not on the circumstances. <laughs> because circumstances don't matter. <laughs> My focus is on my happy end result, where everything's perfect. <laughs> okay. I intend that today's tapping video has helped you move on and no longer sitting in the past and sitting in this uh, for lack of a better word, victim state, where you're a victim to your past and your unwanted creations. No, you can choose to step out of that at any point. All right, I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you again next week. Bye. <laughs>